Hi everybody, today I'm going to do another review and tutorial for you guys on the Wet n Wild 8 Pan Color Icon Palette in Comfort Zone. This is the neutral 8 um, Pan palettes that they just came out with recently. Um, I did a video already on the green side of the palette and now I'm doing a video on the neutral side of the palette. This side of the palette has more neutrally bronzes and a little bit of peach, peachy colors mixed in there as well. Um, I'm wearing the look on my eyes right now, so I'll just talk a little bit about um, this side of the palette and what I think and swatch it for you and then I will show you the tutorial on how I use these shadows to get the look that I'm wearing. Um, so these are the four shades here that I use today on this side of the palette. Um, it comes with, as always, in these a brow bone, eyelid, crease, and definer color. So I'll just swatch these for you. The brow bone color is this really pretty, um, just buttery highlight color. Um, it is a very, very light, frosty, um, yellow-toned highlight shade really really pretty tear duct and highlight color. Um, then we have the eyelid color which is actually gorgeous. It's this beautiful um, peachy color. It's this really really light peach I guess. How can I explain this? It's like a gold and a peach and a little coppery. That's how I'm, that's what I'm sticking to. It's like a bronzy peach, but a really light bronzy peach, I guess. It's gorgeous all over the lid. Uh, that's what I'm wearing it now, and I love it. Like, favorite color out of this whole palette. Beautiful, beautiful color. Then we have the crease color, which is actually a really nice bronze. Um, this is, it's gorgeous. It's just, it's not so dark, which I like. It's the perfect crease color. It blends out beautifully in the crease. I absolutely love this color. I've also worn it all over the lid as well for a smokier look, and it's beautiful. This is a really nice bronze. Again, very pigmented and creamy and blendable. Then we have the definer color, which is actually incredibly pigmented, and you need to be careful. It's a dark chocolate brown with some peachy shimmer in it. Um, the shimmer really corresponds nicely with this peachy eyelid color. Um, again, this is very, very pigmented. Like. You just need to like tap your finger in this, so be careful when you use it. Um, you just need to very lightly like tap your brush in there. And that's the color. This has really gorgeous shimmer in it. Like I said, it's got this peachy shimmer, which goes really nice with this eyelid color. So these are the shades. Um, the shadows are all very pigmented. Um, they're all a little frosty or shimmery, um, like you know these palettes have been doing. Um, but yeah, quality-wise, not a bad one. In the mix here, all very pigmented, creamy, blendable. They last all day over a base. Um, love the color selection here. Like some, you know, interesting things here, like with this peach and then this shimmery dark color. Really gorgeous. I'll take a picture of these swatches so you can see the colors a little better if my lighting's not so great. Um, yeah, so the, that's what I think of the shadows and the swatches. Really great. Um, and if you want to see the tutorial on how I got the look that I'm wearing right now, stay tuned.
finished look, I just went ahead and used a um, bronzy brown um, gel eyeliner and winged it out a bit on my upper lash line. I used a couple coats of my L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes mascara after I curled my lashes. I did some water lining with a black pencil liner and then I just brought that darkest shimmery brown here underneath and smudged it onto the lower lash line a bit just for definition. Um, on my cheeks I'm wearing my e.l.f. Um, blush and bronzer duo. Um, this is from the studio line. I'm wearing the blush on the apples of my cheeks and the bronzer in the hollows of my cheeks as a contour. Um, really nice duo. And on my lips, I'm wearing my MAC lipstick in Shy Girl, which is just a neutrally peach color, um, just to kind of play off that peach that's um, on the eyelids. And then over the top, I'm just wearing my MAC Luster Glass in Love Nectar. Just a peachy, shimmery lip gloss. Um, yeah, so that's it for the look. Really pretty um, colors here in this palette. Love this whole palette. Again, if you want to see my review and swatches and tutorial on the green side of the palette, I'll link the bottom down in the description box. Um, but as for the neutrals, really great. And the greens, really great. Everything. For the price, this is $4.99 at the drugstore. This is, um, I think, a little hard to find right now, but it is a part of the permanent line. So they'll become available again um, in your store if they are sold out. These are great, great quality. If you do like Again, frosty or shadows, if that doesn't bother you, that's really the only thing that these are all frosty. There's no mattes mixed in here. Um, then maybe, you know, if you, if you can't stand the fact that these are all frosty, then maybe don't pick it up. But otherwise, these colors, pigmentation, wear, everything on these is great for the price. Um, fantastic. You know, I feel, if you watch my videos about Wet n Wild Shadows, they're the best at the drugstore. I absolutely love them. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That completes my review and tutorials for this um, Wet n Wild Color Icon 8 Pan Palette in Comfort Zones, the neutral one. Um, I also have tutorials up for the purpley one, um, 8 Pan Palette, which is the Petal Pusher one. There is a blue pan um, in this, you know, palette in this collection. I didn't pick it up though because I'm not as partial to blues as I am to neutrals and purples. Um, so I'll link everything down in the bottom bar. And I hope that you guys like this. If you have any questions or comment requests, just leave everything down below in the comments and I'll get back to you. Have a really great day. Bye.